Uh, you are right, though. We have a story about fractional shares to talk about. So no fractional shares of FedEx in your ISA for you, uh, Steve. Not just because you don't want to buy them, but my dream of buying a Berkshire Hathaway A share in my ISA also appears to be going up in smoke. Yeah, completely, completely um, disappeared, Steve, unfortunately. And I thought it was also kind of fun to just buy 0.001% of uh, Berkshire and make uh, trading 2 and 2 by the rest of it. But but alas, we may soon not be able to do that. So there is a bit of a backstory to it, Steve. The Telegraph broke the story on uh, the 19th, which was Tuesday, was it, Steve? Or was that Wednesday? I, I don't know. Um, but... Uh, they basically said that they have a, a source at HMRC that said that fractional shares are not uh, available, uh, shouldn't be available to be in ISAs because uh, they believe that the rule set in 1998 by the government uh, was to say that it only recognises full shares for tax purposes. Now, uh, there's a lot of kicking of free trade in this article. Um, they, they've come out and basically Telegraph has pointed the finger at free trade in particular, but obviously as trading two and two users who also have fractional shares in things like the pies, uh, we're also going to be, uh, you know, we're also going to fall foul of this rule. Uh, free trade, um, um, they reckon, could be ordered to pay thousands of pounds in capital gains tax, or free, free trade users could pay thousands of pounds capital gains tax. Uh, so, yeah, the rule, Steve, is quite interesting because, um, uh, and a lot of people have been getting caught up in the terminology of it, so I thought it might be just quickly interesting to just look at it from a broker level and explain what happens when you buy a fractional share. So say, for instance, you want 0.05% of a share of Tesla. So you will put that order through. Trading 2 and 2 will go to the market and they will buy one whole share of Tesla. They will split that up. And here's the interesting part, Steve. What they don't do is they don't put that fraction of a share in your account. They give you a derivative. So they give you a derivative that says, this is not a share. This is 0.05% of a share of Tesla. Uh, we hold the whole share, but this user is entitled to the benefits of 0.05% of a share, which is all well and good, Steve, but derivatives are not allowed in an ISA. So when Free Trade come out in their statement and say, uh, fractional shares are just shares, well, they are. That's true. But what is in your ISA is a derivative. And under um, under uh, HMRC uh, ISA guidelines, derivatives are not allowed in ISAs. So it is a little bit of letter versus spirit of the law. I think this is uh, move fast and break things, as people like to say. And this is what Free Trade and Trading 2 and 2 have done. They've moved fast and broke things. Um, this might just be a case of an old law, uh, a sensible head uh, in terms of government. If, if we've got any of them left, we'll take a look at this and say... Stop being pedantic. A fractional share is a share and uh, derivatives in this regard should be allowed. But there will also be people who, uh, especially in, in receipt of lower uh, lower tax receipts, would uh, take a look at this and say, derivatives aren't allowed unless us charge them and find them usually as well for a couple of years of lying to you. How do you feel about it, Steve? Um, pretty much like derivatives in this context are functionally equivalent to shares, uh, behave like shares, are backed by shares. If you wanted to make a law that says, as a broker, you can only facilitate function, uh, fractional shares in ISAs if you hold the underlying security to match against it, uh, I would be absolutely fine with that. Because the concern is you don't want a load of derivatives without underlying things to back them up. Absolutely make that a law uh, from my perspective. Um, there goes a lot of people's dividend reinvestment, uh, dividend reinvestment things then into their ISAs because I was trying to work out whether I owned anything that was a fractional share in my ISA and I thought the answer was no and the answer is yes. Um, I own realty income to some number of decimal places because when I get a dividend, I reinvest it back in and that is nearly never and it, it would never be uh, an exact I buy a share uh, as a result, partly because the dividend's not high enough, but even if it was, the share price moves. And every time you reinvest it, the dividend you get next time is higher. And unless the share price and the dividend were to move exactly in sync every time, along with the exchange rate, because that's a US stock, uh, in sync with one another going forward, I would always end up on a, a fraction. Is anything the matter with that? No. Uh, could you impose a kind of capital requirement on 212 to make sure that they weren't liable for a bunch of stuff that... Um, was that they couldn't cover yeah absolutely uh and a bit like kind of short selling and so on um but would you um uh, yeah should you be doing that kind of thing i don't see that there ought to be a kind of structural problem here steam i don't see that there's a danger that can't be regulated away without um without axing the possibility of fractional shares and or derivatives in uh isis 
Yeah, look, I, I don't think there's a problem here uh, for uh, at all. I think this is a I think this is a non-story, and I, I would hope that it gets resolved rather quickly with somebody saying, stop wasting my time. Fractional shares are shares. But I did ask Trading 2 and 2, Stephen. I did get an official response, if you want to hear it. Mm. It's very short and sharp. It just says, the ISA regulations do not prevent holding fractional shares in an ISA. The term share is not defined within the regulation itself. And while HMRC's view is that a share must mean a whole share, trading two and two and other market participants believe a share can mean a fraction of a whole share. We have been discussing this issue with Her Majesty's Treasury and will continue to do so until such a time that there is a resolution. In the meantime, we will continue to monitor the situation and update clients if needed. Thank you for your understanding. And that's it, Steve. I think that covers it pretty comfortably. I would assume that this has caused panic for some people and they've probably been selling off their fractions. I still hold a fraction of a lot of things in my... Mind you, that's in my GIA, but I do own a fraction of AdGen in my main account. And uh, I'm not in a rush to close that fraction off at the moment, Steve. I am just willing to sit on my pants and see what happens. Are you doing anything different? I'm not doing anything uh, different. I'm a little bit more... Um, uncertain about what I think of this. So 